computer hardware. In this lesson, the learner will be able to explain input devices, explain output devices, analyze the selection of computer components. A boy is taking a look at the computer shop. After glancing around the entire shop, he is going inside. Hello, sir. How can I help you? I have an elaborate assignment on how to assemble a new computer. Before assembling, I want to know more about hardware and assembling. Sure, I will describe them one by one. Computer is an electronic device which is capable of receiving information, that is data, from the user through an input device. Perform a sequence of operations in accordance with a predetermined set of procedural instructions called a program and it enables to produce a result through the output devices. Let us discuss about the block diagram of a computer. The computer system hardware comprises of three main components. They are input devices used to get the input from the user, central processing unit that is CPU processes the information and output devices used to display the output. Central processing unit CPU controls, coordinates and supervises the operation of a computer. It is responsible for processing the input data. The processor or CPU is also called the brain of the computer. Let us discuss the parts of the central processing unit. They are motherboard, processor, switchboard power supply, normally called as SMPS, graphic, video and network cards, hard drive, optical drive or CD, DVD drive and RAM. Motherboard. The motherboard is a part of a computer where the components such as processor, memory modules, expansion cards and external devices are attached. This means that the motherboard controls the functions of the different components. Processor The processor is the main component of a computer. The processor is based on factors such as speed, performance, reliability and motherboard support. Clock speed is measured in units of cycles per second, which is called Hertz. Computer boards and CPUs run at the rate of millions and billions of hertz, megahertz and gigahertz. Pentium dual core series, 8-point Celeron dual core series, core i3, i5, i7 series are some of the processors. Switch mode power supply, that is SMPS. Switch mode power supply efficiently converts the power from one form to another form with the desired voltage levels. It is used to obtain a regulated DC output voltage from an unregulated input voltage. While buying a power supply, you need to determine the amount of voltage required according to your configuration based on the HDD, RAM and cooling fan numbers. Sound card A sound card converts the digital data to analog sound waves that you can hear. The output signal is then connected to a headphone or a set of speakers. You can also use a sound card to record audio with the help of a microphone. Graphic Cards A graphic card is a type of display adapter or video card installed in computing devices to display the graphical data. It contains its own processing unit and memory. Network Cards This allows the computers to connect together in order to communicate with each other. Network cards are connected via wire or wireless. Hard disk drive. It stores and provides large amounts of data on an electromagnetic surface. Even if power interruption prevails, it can remember what is stored in them. So, it is called as a non-volatile device. Optical disk drive. An optical disk drive, that is ODD, is a disk drive that uses laser light or electromagnetic waves within or near the visible light spectrum as part of the process of reading or writing data to or from optical disks. Random Access Memory, that is RAM. RAM provides the temporary storage of data and instructions. RAM is volatile, that is computer memory, that needs power to preserve the stored data. RAM stores data and instructions during the execution of instructions. RAM provides the temporary storage of data and instructions. Let us discuss about the input unit. An input device for a computer allows you to enter information or accepts data from the user. Keyboard, that is input device. The keyboard is used as an input device which feeds various types of information into the computer. There are different keyboard layouts and sizes 
which are available. The most common layout is the Queti layout. The standard keyboard has 101 keys. Mouse, that is pointing device. In computers, the mouse is used as a control pointer. Generally, the mouse has two buttons. The left one is used to select objects and text, and the right one is used to access the menus. Joystick. Joystick is a pointing device which is used to move the cursor position on a monitor screen. It is a stick having a spherical ball at both its lower and upper ends. The lower spherical ball moves in a socket. The joystick can be moved in all four directions. The function of the joystick is similar to a mouse. It is used in computer-aided designing, that is, CAD work and playing games. Scanner Scanners allow you to convert pictures and photographs to your computer. A scanner scans the image and transfers to the computer. Trackball Trackball is an input device that is mostly used in notebook or laptop computers instead of a mouse. Barcode Reader Barcode Reader is a device used for reading barcoded data, that is, data in form of thin and thick lines. Barcoded data is generally used in labeling the goods, numbering the books, etc. Digital cameras, that is, input device, allow you to take digital photographs which are stored on a memory chip or disk and can be transferred into your computer. Monitors, a computer monitor is an output device that is used as an electronic visual display for computers. Monitor screen size is measured diagonally across the screen in inches. The resolution of the monitor is the maximum number of pixels that it can display horizontally and vertically such as 800 into 600 or 1024 into 768 or 1600 into 1200. Printers. The printer takes the information on your screen and transfers it to paper or a hard copy. Three types of printer are used commonly that are dot matrix, inkjet and laser. Speakers. They receive audio input from the computer's sound card and produce audio output in the form of sound waves. Step 1. Select the main board, that is, motherboard. If you want to assemble a PC, you should select the MB based on your requirements and processor. Motherboard sizes. The most common motherboard size is Intel's Advanced Technology Extended, that is, ATX and its derivatives. Chipsets. The gateway between a processor and other components is a set of interface controllers, generically called the chipset. Chipset is a set of electronic components in an integrated circuit that manages the data flow between the processor, memory and peripherals. It is usually found on the motherboard. Chipsets are usually designed to work with a specific family of microprocessors. The types of chipsets are AMD AM3 Plus chipsets, AMD FM2 Plus chipsets and Intel LGA1150 chipsets. Step 2. Select RAM. This must match your motherboard's clock speed. A Windows 7 system should have at least 1 GB of RAM and 2 GB is normally preferred. 4 to 8 GB is the typical limit of RAM such that a motherboard can address. Step 3. Select Hard Drive. This is where information on your computer is stored. IDE, Integrated Drive Electronics, the older standard that SATA has replaced. SATA. The expanded form of SATA is Serial Advanced Technology Attachment. It is the current standard technology for connecting a hard drive to the rest of the computer. Step 4. Select PSU, that is Power Supply Unit, SMPS. Switch mode power supply efficiently converts the power from one form to another form with the desired voltage levels. It is used to obtain a regulated DC output voltage from an unregulated input voltage. While buying a power supply, you need to determine the amount of wattage required according to your configuration based on HDD, RAM and cooling fan numbers. Step 5. Select Optical Disk Drive. This is where your CD and DVDs go. Depending on your needs, you should choose one that's right for you. Almost all new DVD writers can make CD and DVDs. So, look for either a dual burner setup or a burner and reader setup. Step 6. Select Mouse and Keyboard. The mouse and keyboard are also essential parts of assembling a desktop. It comes in different connectors like USB and PS2. 
It is also available in wired and wireless models. Step 7. Select Graphics Card. The graphics card takes information from the processor and calculates how to display it on the screen. Each card has its own processor, referred to as graphics processing unit, that is GPU, and its own memory, referred to as video RAM, that is VRAM. An important decision to make while choosing a graphics card is whether you will need high performance 3D graphics or not. Step 8. Select your case. A computer case is the outer shell of a computer. This case is what the motherboard, hard drives, compact drivers, etc. are mounted on to make the complete computer. Today we have learned the computer system hardware comprises of three main components. They are input unit, central processing unit and output unit. Selecting the computer component